Good hello. <laughs> Good hello to Good all. Hello to all. Good hello art time to all. Welcome to another amazing ooh, workshop, art lesson, tutorial, whatever art you jam, call it. whatever. Art jam's fun. Mm -hmm. Today we're making something else that's yummy because oh, we're on the yummy train. We're on the yummy train, Bieber, and food. Yeah, yeah. But we will show you right here what they look like. Yeah, we're ice making cream some cone. gorge ice cream cones. Are they inspired by anybody? Um, no, they're inspired by Dairy Queen. Oh, and yeah. I guess they could be inspired by. What else? Wayne-ster. Wayne Thibault. Yeah, Wayne Thibault. Is that how you say it? I don't know. I always think he's French, but he's not. He's American. Yeah, he's American. So all our American pals out there. Uh, Wayne, Wayne Thibault. He Wayne. was a pop artist as well. When we're on the pop art train. Uh, he was so very trees. well known for all of his beautiful um, paintings of cakes, pies, desserts. And he loved to use really thick layers of paint so that it actually looked like frosting on the canvas, which is really cool. Here's an example. On my face. <laughs> yes. He's awesome. So you could take inspo from that too. Or if you're just an ice cream lover. Aren't That's okay all? too. Oh, who's not? Okay, so we're going to take you through how to draw this thing and we're going to be doing something called an oil blend. You will need... What will we need today? Some sort of oil. Baby oil works great and then it smells like a little nursery. It's the sweetest thing. Or coconut oil most of you have, so just melt that up so that it's liquid. Mm -hmm. And you need... Oil pastels. Mm -hmm. Wax crayons aren't gonna work, but you could just not do the oil blend and still do the drawing with us. Totally. Pencil crayons would really work well for this. Oh. If you're not gonna oil pastel. Blend. She's not just a pretty face, folks, with luscious locks today. Okay. Um, also, paper. We're using cardstock, something a little bit thicker because of the oil. So if you use a really thin paper, it might be, it might not hold. This is an example of paper holding art supplies. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, so you're just gonna need your pencil for the drawing to start. I know we've talked about this before, but it's really important. You can see here that these are nice light sketching marks. You don't wanna do a really dark line because we're just kind of getting into planning our sketch and getting the general shapes in first. That's right. So we're gonna move this guy out of the way. Uh, the first thing you wanna do is your first ice cream cone that is in the center here. He's gonna be the biggest guy and we're just gonna break it down into shapes. Drawing yeah. lightly allows you to erase too so you'll be able to um, change things up. Okay. So you wanna start with a bit of a scoopy line kind of in the center of your page. We're gonna draw a little bit darker for your viewing pleasure. Pleasure. And you're basically making a little rectangle. Those little cones. The reason you want this scoopy line is for the illusion that it's 3D. So you're making a scoopy line at the top, scoopy line on the bottom, and then two straight lines on the side. Sort of fashion ice cream cone shape. That's here. right. I like to make a little top part too. So this scoopy line becomes the bottom of the top and just add. Mm -hmm. I gotta turn my page to fit. Hopefully it looks crazy okay Whoa. and you can see it's not perfect there's lots of sketching marks yeah. we're not worried about it being you know one single line you see a lot of active drawing lines here totally then you're gonna make the bottom part of the cone and the bottom part of the cone we're gonna come in a little bit they're not just straight lines they are going a little bit on a diagonal however maybe you want your cone to come in more than we've drawn here, or maybe you want your cone to be straight. You want two bottom lines. They're just on a slight angle. And then to connect the two, you're also gonna have a bit of that scoopy line. That helps it look 3D. Love it. For the ice cream, I like to break it down into a shape again too. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, are you finding it cramped with our... Yeah. Can we switch <laughs> it's like spots? I can't draw. Yeah, maybe we should. I gotta switch. Oh, okay. my goodness Life gracious. Cool. Okay. Cool. Okay. So now, uh, what I do for the cone 
I call it Tell us. a squiggly triangle. Oh, wow. So you're just going to kind of squiggle your way up to the point of your triangle and squiggle your way down. Don't worry about mm. all the folds and all that. You can do it after. It helps simplify. Oh, yeah, exactly. Okay. And then I just kind of choose where I want to add some little diagonal I love lines. that. All right. So it's, it's like so a... much easier that way. really is because it can get kind of confusing about... Yeah, ice cream cones, you can get yeah. pretty intense. So this is a great little trick. I like the little ice cream hack. Yeah, ice cream hack. So the next thing Love is it. two more. And you can see on this guy, these two are what, Amy? Smaller? Smaller! Oh, okay. Because they are further in view. So mm -hmm. you're going to do the same steps. And I actually even did a little less detail on yeah. these guys just to sort of map them out. So things that are closest to us are gonna be larger. Things that are farther away are gonna be higher up on the horizon line, so higher up your page, and a little bit smaller. So, just some tips and tricks about perspective. Okay, so same sort of rectangle with a scoopy top and scoopy bottom. And I actually sometimes find it useful to put both shapes and kind of work on both at the same time. But again, it's pencil, you guys. You can change it up as much as you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and see, I love that you're planning out the bottom of yours. Mm -hmm. Perfection. All right, kiddos or adults. Yummy. Now you're going to work on the oil blend. So, okay, you can really choose whatever colors you want. I'm going to go for, I think we'll both probably do a little bit of a cone color to start. I like... To look for, I don't know, if you've seen the cones, mm -hmm. maybe a bit of a, what would you call this? Yellow ochre? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was looking for that word. Right. And then even and some mind. white too. Okay. To layer them up. Mm -hmm. And then we'll probably use some dark brown too for our shadows. Tell me everything. Coolio? Show me what to do. Okay. So start with your main color. I'm not going to fill in crazy all over. Kind of going light. Kind of going light. And my the bulk of the color is going to go where the shadow might be. So the light's coming on this side and the shadow's yeah, on this so side. Yeah, so I'm going to have to change my shadow on the bottom there. But yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So I'm just laying down some oil pastel and even leaving a little bit blank there. This is like our mid-tone, and then the dark brown will add where it's really going to have shadow. Aww. And then a little white on the edges here, and then we'll do the blending. Very cool. Okay, show us. The shadow is going to be, well, we always have like the darkest down here where it's touching the ground. Mm -hmm. This is going to give us a little bit of a shadow too, right? Because this part's poking up, so it's going to make a shadow down here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just take this brown a little bit along the edge. Okay. And your details like sprinkles and, and the little bits here in the cone, you'll see that the oil pastel kind of blends it. We can go in and do that at the end. I'm going to just add a little touch here because maybe there's a tiny shadow from the ice cream going over. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yummy. And then your white. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to press kind of hard with this now kind of in the center and bring it over to the edge a little bit. I'm loving how they're blending. You they know what? Blend I already. do not draw with oil pastels enough. This is no. fantastical. This could be your blend on its own. Yeah, you don't even have to do this. If you want to get jazzy, Q tip. Okay. Into the oil. The oil, yeah. And just a little bit on there. And that will help you blend oh, wow. all your stuff out. It's like painting such a new experience oh yummer isn't it fun ah. okay now yes think about what colors you might want to have for your ice cream ah. right well you know i think i'm gonna do like um some sort of a pinky bubble gummy oh that's so cool okay it's the same thing you might need yeah and you think about shadows so i go to like the next color yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sort of your mid-tone, a little bit of a darker color, right. and then lighter. Maybe I'll do a blue. And I just happen to have these fancy blues right here. And a white. Nice. 
I think about where the shadows are going to be in my ice cream cone too. Anywhere that it kind of dips in, mm -hmm. I imagine that there's a tiny little bit of a shadow. But still, I'm going to keep most of my color on the same side I did with my cone. If you are um, ready, you've got like your mid tone down. Look at you go. Yeah, mm. then you go with your darker kind of where you think it might be folded mm -hmm. or where there might be a shadow. Good old white. Yeah, it's just about layering and fun. So. And then you can do the same thing, dip a new Q-tip because we are got some new colors going on. Okay. I have my cone color in there. And just blend and just away. just blend away. <music> Details time. You could leave it like this or add some fun stuff like sprinkles, or you could even add a cherry on top if you oh, wanted to. Yeah. I think we're both just adding to our shadows mm -hmm. a little bit, but we're gonna add that cross hatching. Nice. To give the cone texture. I am loving it already. It's very cool. Okay, sprinkle time? The sprinkles, kiddos. You don't want to um, blend. So that's why you wanna do them at the end. I just add little dots wherever. I guess, I mean, you could play around with blending them. I just like them sort of sitting on top. I guess that's a personal preference. How cute is your stinking cone? Oh my lovely, gosh. lovely. Okay, and I would say final last thing. Yes. Obviously, we have two other cones to do, but mm -hmm. the shadow on the bottom. Let's do, let's yeah. do. So if our light's coming this way, I gotta swap my direction. Mm -hmm. I mean, that can kind of stay. Now you can do it with an oil blend. You could do it with your pencil. I'm just gonna take this brown and use the oil pastel to blend it out. Yeah, it doesn't have to be too crazy. Oh, I love the blend. The blend is so fun. point you've done it yeah hopefully it's a fun little activity try out oil blends scrumptious mm -hmm. is right and what's more fun than ice cream on a paper <laughs> what uh we did mm -hmm. is added a little horizon line behind our ice cream cones and this is just with watercolor paint in the background and you did a more of an oil blend Oops. which works really nicely because it totally. ties into those cones so have some fun with it you can do different sizes one cone two cones three cones whatever but please send us your pics we love to see what you're up to at home and don't mm -hmm. forget to follow us on instagram if you don't already and share with yeah. a friend get yeah. the art out there thank you the creativity because creativity rules Creativity My hair does not get any crazier. Your hair is everybody's dream. Okay, guys. Bye.